Spengoli again with the program that asks the question, why is Timothy Leary? Huh? He say a book of peace for him. That's probably why. Most of you who grew up in America between the 60s and the 80s grew up watching Creature Feature and its colorful horror hosts. Hello, darlings. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, your hot horror honey who's in it for the money. But most millennials today don't even know what a horror host is. We've invited a few horror hosts on the show to explain just what is a modern day horror host. A small furry mammal indigenous to Norway, which is known for blindly jumping off cliffs en masse. Well, you know, like in the old days, it's probably something like they grab a guy out of a TV studio and it'd be like, you know, hey Bob, we, we gotta sell some spots for these spooky movies, so why don't you go in the air, you know, tell some jokes, introduce the movie, do something zany, you know? What? Horror host? Oh, I thought you said lemming. A modern day horror host, as opposed to the horror host from back in the day is not only a fan of horror and science fiction, but also of the previous horror host. Well, let's talk about a classic horror host for a second. Uh, back in the 50s when feature films, feature horror films were coming to television, uh, they were trying to market to the horror fans and they created uh, a personality, uh, just like you would ha have a DJ at a radio station uh, they would have a personality to present these movies to market to the kids that were watching them. Oh, there you are. Trick or treat. <laughs> well, most horror hosts don't come from Norway and they aren't as hairy, except for Wolfman Mac. But otherwise, they're very similar. Uh, the original horror hosts weren't so much even fans of horror and science fiction. They were often uh, Weather guy, sports guy. Newscaster, the sportscaster, the staff announcer, or, or someone from the local theater company with a bad Dracula cape on. Hey, attention, we are going to bring you Frankenstein versus Dracula. <laughs> the guy pulled in from production somewhere, something like that, and uh, told, hey, we need to uh, put some interest into this uh, package of horror and science fiction films we've got. Uh, you're the man. Put on a costume and get out there. Where are you going? You mean this is only a one fright stand? And it was usually a side job for the person who was doing the work. And of course, uh, today's horror host is like the people who grew up watching the old time hosts. And it's like they're showing their appreciation and, and paying homage to the old days. Uh, today, horror hosts are uh, doing it of their own volition. And again, it's because we are fans of the genre, fans of horror, fans of science fiction, and fans of the horror hosts that have, uh, that have gone by. Um, a modern horror host, a horror host today, there's the golden age, the silver age, I think we're in the tinfoil age. A modern horror host, in Mr. Lobo's opinion, is an artist. It's someone that has seen the tradition that's come before and recognizes it as an art form, as an American folk art, well now an international folk art, and, and wants to express themselves in this way. Uh, it's also kind of a lifestyle. You know, there are people who call themselves vampires. You know, they drink red Kool-Aid at parties and wear plastic vampire fangs. You know, are they actually vampires? That's subject to interpretation. Is everyone you meet on the street who calls themselves a horror host a horror host? Of course they are. <laughs>